Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana and today we are going to breed some griffins, guys. Uh, breeding of griffins and raising of griffins is actually a very tricky business on Arc Mobile. And so we are going to walk through the steps here. This may be a shorter episode because of that, um, but I think it's gonna be really important for people. So, uh, griffins can only be bred, one, if you have a male and female pair, that's important, and two, they have to have the same last syllable of their name, guys. So they have to be from the same house. Um, royal line is kind of the lore that Wardrum has put forth with these griffins. And so what that means is that that apostrophe I at the end of Ali E's name uh, matches up with the apostrophe I at the end of Lanceri's name, which I did not know when I was originally breeding these guys. So this last syllable of the name is really important. If you don't have that last syllable of the name matching, the griffins will not breed. Um, and so I wanted to show you guys over here. This is actually a baby, the baby that I, um, well, the first egg that I had, and it is a little bit older right now, and that's because I've been growing it up. This is about day three, and I have really boosted rates, guys. So just so you know, griffins take a very, very long time to grow. This is three days, and it's at about 30%. So for me, it's about 10% per day. I have a feeling that for most people, that is going to be significantly longer. Uh, so just be aware before you try to hatch up a griffin, it's going to take you a lot of time to do that. A long, long time. Um, but I think it's going to be worth it because this is Neai, and he, because uh, it is a male, is actually a level 126, which is much higher than uh, Lanceri here, so we can then probably use... Neai to continue breeding and get um, a really good, really high, basically a mutated griffin is what I'm going for. So once this guy's all grown up, we'll breed him back in with his mother. Um, if that baby's a higher level, we'll keep breeding and so on and so forth. That's kind of the goal. Um, until we get steady stat parents and then we will mutate and have a mutated griffin, which will be great. Now you can see that this one I did imprint. I was kind of testing it out to see what the rate was. Um, it actually looks like the imprinting right now is 100% per, per imprint. So you only have to do one imprint on these guys for them to get that full imprint. Now that is very interesting because that is not how most creatures work at all. Even with the boosted rates on this server, that's outrageously high. Um, that doesn't typically happen. So uh, that is something to be aware of as well. So the babies do inherit the last name of the parents. And yeah, that's pretty good. So this egg has about 10 minutes left here, guys. So I'm gonna bring you guys back uh, when it is ready to hatch. Okay, guys, we are back. Um, this griffin egg has just about 20 seconds left to go. Oh my goodness, guys, I'm so excited. Hatching of the, the beautiful golden griffin egg. Oh my goodness, this will be like only the, the second or third griffin I've actually managed to hatch on this server just because of the mate cooldown timers and um, from being a little bit busy lately. So I really hope we get something good. Um, there we go. Ooh, level 122. That's actually not bad. Oh, and it's a female. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and claim this girl. Okay. Now, um, you can see here that this baby does say that she won't accept food right now. And that is actually kind of, um, well, that's kind of a problem with all baby griffins. So they actually won't take food unless they have their mothers nearby. So top tip for raising baby griffins, guys, you do need their mothers. So I'm going to go ahead and grab Ali E. This is probably close enough, but I'm going to bring her closer just in case. There we go. All right, and then once you have the mother nearby, what you need to do is actually come over and go ahead and put some meat in the inventory. Now, the thing is, guys, is that baby griffins, um, right now they're bugged on multiplayer servers to where they say that they're insecure and won't accept food, even though they do. So if you put food in their inventory, um, just trust that it's gonna work. You wanna watch their food meter here on their stat bar. Um, eventually that should take a jump up and eventually they should eat one of these pieces of meat. It will take quite a while. They grow very slowly and they also eat very slowly. So you can see the maturation progress isn't moving. 
Now, that is because, not because they won't accept food, that is because they just take so very long to grow. On my server, it's actually going to take about 10 days to completely grow a griffin from hatching all the way up to adult stage. There we go. So you can see she just ate there. She did eat. So even though she has the insecurity tag right now, uh, she is accepting food. Now, you do have to be aware that this is going to take a long time, as I was saying. Uh, but don't give up. Um, you're going to have to babysit them for quite a few hours until they can hold enough food because right now they can only hold about four pieces of meat. Uh, but luckily, <laughs> luckily, um, they eat very slowly as well. So it's not like you don't have to watch them like you do at Giga or anything like that. It's, it's not quite that bad. All right. So, um, as you can see, uh, it's actually been quite a while here between these takes, uh, since I did have kind of a mishap with a video there. Uh, so Niai is now about half grown. It's been about five days since uh, since I hatched this particular griffin. Uh, yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to grow up pretty well. All right, guys. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it for tips. Uh, keep the mother nearby. Just keep giving the baby food. Don't worry about not seeing progress. It takes a very long time to watch them. And yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for today's episode, guys. Um... If you did find yourself enjoying this at any point, please do remember to hit that like button. It seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I will catch you guys in the next one. Signing off, this is The Iguana.